Welcome everybody, it's Joni at Granny J. Clay, and this is the video I promised uh, earlier today. I hope um, it helps you. Like I said, I am just learning how to do this. I just kind of came up with it myself. Uh, so let's see how it goes. This is uh, a piece of white Primo, and by the way, my voice is very raspy. I'm going to try as, to do as little talking as possible because it breaks out. I've got my cough drops and my water here, so just in case I need all that. All right, enough is enough, we're gonna start. So here's my little acrylic plate that I showed you earlier on the video earlier. And I'm just gonna use the same one, I do like the flower. <clears throat> and yet I did clean it, I did clean it, but as you're gonna see, I squirt alcohol ink into this. Um, and so I will show that to you. I'm gonna move this over here first. Well, maybe I better put it right there because I will probably use it right away. But it's this is rolled out. Uh, Prima White is just rolled out on a one or a zero, which is my thickest on my Atlas 180. So <clears throat> let's see how this goes. Oh, move some of these things out of the way. Put my cough drop in my mouth. Okay. <clears throat> for those of you who get a little irritated when people have things in their mouth, I apologize ahead of time, but it's just kind of the way it is today. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I am going to squirt some ink onto this, uh, alcohol ink, and, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put, do it on here in case it gets all over the place. It's just a paper towel. And then I take a good share of it off. I've got my alcohol here. I've got it in a squirt bottle. So, uh, and it is not 70%, it's 91%. I just, I used up all the 70% and I decided to buy 91% alcohol and I put it in the same bottle. So, just in case you're wondering about that. <clears throat> so, let's get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I am going to... Uh, I cleaned this off. I used alcohol to spray this and clean it off. But as you can see, not all of it came out. And I think there's probably little pieces, little bits of clay in there too. But I cleaned it as best I could. You can hardly get into those little cracks and crevices. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. And we'll see if this comes out in this blue color. I'm using this alcohol ink. This is called Mermaid. Mermaid. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to use. <clears throat> hope you guys are all doing well today and as you can see I'm just dripping it just going to drip it right onto this and it just kind of follows the trail so I don't know if I'll get more purple here now that I'm putting this ink in it or we'll see what we get <clears throat> and I do not remember I've had these <clears throat> I've had these uh, little plates for quite a while. You know how you order something and then you think, well, okay, now I'm going to wait to use that. So I'm just going to let that sit a minute. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take a wipe and wipe over it like that. And since that flower is imprinted into the plate, uh, we'll just see what happens here when I put it on. And I don't mind extra alcohol being on there. So what it did for me before, and that's why I wear gloves. Otherwise, I get alcohol all over and it's hard to get off. <clears throat> I just took it like this. And now I'm going to move that. And maybe put this back over here. And I just put it down like that and pressed as hard as I could. So I'm going to stand up. And I'm just going to put pressure on it like that. You see how the ink kind of decides it's going to kind of come out? And don't worry about it because that's just what it does. Like I said, this is a messy, messy technique. But I want to make sure that I get this flower onto the clay. And I think that's going to be good. And then I'll just, <clears throat> you can use, if you want to, you can use your little X-Acto knife just to kind of come in and pick it up. I, I use my fingertip. 
it's got suction on it because of the, the ink on it. Okay. Now you think, how do you ever make that work? Well, we'll, well, we'll see. <laughs> this is what I'm playing with. Okay, now it looks pretty ugly right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it with my alcohol. So hang on there. Just going to put a little on it. Like that. And I'm just going to begin to wipe it off like that. And I'm being very careful over the flower since the, the flower is sticking up. It's not embossed. It's not into the clay. It's debossed. And that's the way I like it. So I'm just using a Kleenex here. And I'm trying to get that to show a little bit more. Sometimes I just take the Kleenex or a paper towel or, you know, very lightly though, and I just dab at it like that. See, see how it's coming up? Let's see if I can bring it out a little bit further. Probably am, and then I have to take this and move it up a little bit more. Okay, let's see. I wanna make sure you get to see it. There you go. Do you see why I said it was so messy? It is, it's very messy. All right, <clears throat> but I like, I like having uh, the ink bleed. It serves beneficial when you make your piece. I'll show you why. All right, I, I wipe up there. I don't want any real globs of it, but yet I want it to show. And you're gonna see that sometimes that clay was cracking there, and that's all right if it does. And then I'm going to wipe up here a little bit, very lightly, just very lightly I'm doing this, very lightly. And you can see it's just showing up really nicely. <clears throat> now if you want more ink on it, you can certainly add more ink around it. <clears throat> And I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, that's good for me for right now. Okay. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to just lay this over it and just kind of see what I can dab off of there. Okay. Next time I'll pick it up with this. When I picked it up, I, I think I split it when I picked it up, but that's okay too. I'm just gonna take some of this off because I don't really need the whole thing. Um, okay. It's now a matter of deciding what cutter I want to use. Um, well, first of all, I'll show you how to get the other part on there. Let me show you. Uh, years ago, I ordered three sponges. This one that was very, very, oh, let's see. I'm going to bring you back out like that. And this one that was very, very textured. They're really skinny, and I need to replace them. If anybody knows, they come in a pack of three. Uh, and this one, and then another one, which I have no idea where it went. I've, I've got a feeling I may have just thrown it in the garbage one day. You know, I, I throw things in the garbage and then I think, oh, did I throw that away? <laughs> so I use this one. And what I do is this. I just ball it up like this. Okay? I just ball it all together. It's, it's colored because I've used it for other things. And I just press it. So I'm going to press it all the way around. Now... And you'll notice that um, my little acrylic uh, block have has you know a square and it made an imprint all the way around. Not to worry, not to worry at all about that. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I don't want to use this on my flower. Maybe you would. I, I I don't know, but I don't care to use it on my flower. So there we go. Now 
I'm getting it close to my flower, but I don't want it on my flower. Okay. What you could do is you could dip this in some ink and do it that way if you'd like. You could certainly do that. <clears throat> Matter of fact, I might just try that today. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to put a little bit more alcohol ink on. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a battle with allergies during this season of life. And I'm going to put it on a wipe like this. Just like that. What I'm going to do is, let's get that wiped off of there. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to dab here and there. And if it gets darker in one place, it's not a big deal. It's okay. Do you see this right here? I'm going to come in with my little tool and just get it out of there. I don't care for that really dark, whatever that was. And then I'm just going to come back in and Share some more. So this is a baby wipe. I get these wipes at Costco. You know, the kind that they say flushable, but they're not. You should never flush them in your toilet. Anyway, I use them for clay all the time. Okay. All right. Now that I've got a little bit more on there, I'm going to come back and I'm just going to impress again. Okay. Just here and there. Now, if you are not happy because that little square still shows, just go in there and push on it, and then you have to go back with your sponge. So you can do that maybe ahead of time if, if that... It depends on what size cutter you're going to use, too, you know. Okay. Now, this is a little bit darker than what um, I originally had. But, you know, I don't know if you know it or not, but I sure see it in my work that seems like it, you can never, in something like this or in other things, you can never get it to turn out the exact same way the second time around or something. Unless it's something that's just very, you know, a real rigid design. Anyway, I like that. We'll do that. This looks different than the other one, but I don't really mind. Okay. So I'm going to take this and just lay it over here. And I'm going to throw that away so I don't mess something up. And now what I'm going to do is grab a cutter. And I have some, um, let's see here. I ordered, I'll just show it to you. I ordered from Carefree Creations, Berlin Center, Ohio. If you want to look up Carefree Creations. And so I've got cutters from them. Let me wipe that off a little bit so I don't get into it. And I really like this one. And I like that one as well. And I've got a heart. I like that one too. And I've got a heart, a small one for an earring. And for this one, I've got this one for an earring. Um, let me see here. I don't have this earring. And that's why I didn't originally make earrings for that. But you could. It doesn't have to be the same size. I mean the same shape. You can do what you want. I think I'm going to go with this one today. And make earrings too. Okay. I have just been making so many new things. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I have to stand up to see where to put this. I am going to put a, <clears throat> a hole in the top, so I want to make sure this is just kind of centered there. Okay. Okay. And I'm 
just going to go ahead and um, I'm going to pull this off just like this carefully because I want to make some earrings with it. Set that aside. And there's my cute little piece. Isn't that pretty? Let's come down again. There you go. Mm, I like that. That's a pretty color. And this does not bend very easily. I'll get this. I just ordered some new blades. I have never ordered new blades. <laughs> Would you believe? I bought a couple new ones, like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I just ordered some new blades. I can't wait till they come so that I can do uh, mo Mokumegani a little better. When I do Mokumogani, however you say that, um, my blades make it drag and it looks awful. So there's that piece for you. Isn't that pretty? And let's see here. I'm gonna make some earrings. And it's okay if they, okay, wanna have, yeah, get some of that pretty color in there. There's one. Now that's gonna be, I wanna get one on one side and one on the other. Let's see if I got that on there right. I do, probably doesn't look like it in the screen though, but it's okay, okay. Okay, now <clears throat> you could make sure that there is part of a flower on you wanted to, if you wanted to impress the flower again onto the clay. You could make the earrings that had, um, okay, let's see, do I want to do that? And this one can go to that, hmm. No, I want that one on this side, so I want the print here and then the print, okay. That's why I love this. You can just turn it any which way, every which way. That's one of my favorites. This is this is also one of my favorites. Okay, so that's how you do that technique. Now, if you felt that you wanted to go back over, add a little more ink, wipe it off. Add a little more ink, wipe it off. Uh, what I like is the little bit of white there around the flower. So it's kind of, it stands out. So that's that technique. I hope you enjoyed seeing that. Now what I would do is I would take this up and, <clears throat> excuse me, and I would bake it. And then I would bring it down and I would put um, ink. I would put, take an alcohol ink pad and put ink around the edges. Uh, so, I, so I have the edges a color too. Right now they're white. And then I would also turn them over and I would add the um, the glitter and the resin. And I resin the front too. Here, let me grab that again for you so you can see a little bit better. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I've got so many hanging up here on my wall. So here it is. <clears throat> And I went ahead and just put a little bit around the sides, and then I put the, um, okay, let's do this. I sanded the sides, I, I rubbed a little bit of ink around the sides, and then I resined the back with the glitter. I had purple glitter, and I mixed it in with my resin and put it on the back, just like Deb teaches you. She's the one that um, came up with this idea, I think. Anyway, that's where I saw it, uh, for sure. And I thought it was so pretty. What a beautiful back. I used to always put a texture on the back, but I really like the idea of having that pretty pretty backing like that. So so that's what I did. And then I put, re once that uh, cured, then I put resin on the top. And then I took resin, um, and I squirted it onto my, um, what, my glass. And I took a Q-tip, like that, and I dipped it in it, and I put resin all the way around the edges um, because I don't want that ink to get on anybody when they wear it, and so I just made sure that I covered it with resin. 
And plus, it kind of makes it look like it's framed a little bit when you do that. I like that. So, um, I don't know if you've seen anybody do that before, but there you go. All right, that's just one. I'm going to move this up here, and that's ready to go get baked. Put it on my tile up, up there. And I thought, well, maybe we could do another one. So I might um, have to change out my gloves here. It does dry on the gloves and it doesn't seem to bother, but I, I'm kind of careful about that. And I don't want to uh, make a mess. Oh, I didn't pull enough white clay. I'll be right back. All right, I got some white clay <clears throat> rolled out here. I'm sorry, I had to pause, I have a cough. Anyway, I'm going to lay this mat, the one that I showed you that I got from Cool Tools on here. Today we're going to I'm going to try yellow and orange. I love yellow and orange together. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do here is uh, and this might not be as long as it needs to be, which is that's not a big deal. I'll do this way here. Okay, now what I want to do is make sure uh, I guess I should have put the clay on top. Make sure that the um, print goes into the clay. And you'll notice it's just really teeny tiny lines. <clears throat> but that's what you want when you do this kind of a technique. Okay, so I'm going to put it down again. I think what I'll do is I'll do it from this side. <clears throat> I'm going to try this. Let's see. If it doesn't work, I can just redo the clay again. pressing really hard. In fact, I think I'll stand up. There we go. Well, let's see. Let's see what we come up with, shall we? I'm going to bring you down a little bit, see the reveal here. That's not good enough for me. This is pretty. That right there didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to go back into the clay machine here. All right, let's try that again. <clears throat> and I don't want it to be sticky there, so wipe it off here a little bit. Let's try it again. Okay. All right. Here we go. It does walk from you a little bit, but let's see how it turns out this time. You can put the clay on top and try it that way if you think it might work better. But I'm really pressing, pressing, pressing here. Let's see what happens this time. <laughs> oh, I'm out of view a little bit. Well, I think that's a little bit better, actually. Let me pick it up. Okay. I'll take a better, closer look at it. All right. If you can tell or not. I think it looks okay. I'm kind of judging by the flower, the outside, outside of the flower here. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Yeah, I think it's okay this time. All right, so I'll lay this back down. I'm going to cut the excess white off. And this, again, is Prima White. So, set that aside. And clean my cutter up a little bit. I'll bring one of my old cutters in. This is This is so old. I think I bought this blade at... Home Depot. And then I put these little ends on it for little handles. Okay. Just gonna cut that off. Put that over there. You can use as much or as little of this design when you're done as you'd like. 
but there should be plenty for earrings, hopefully. Let's see here. Okay. And it, it doesn't matter if it's so even or not. It's okay. Now what I'm going to do is come down a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And see if I can focus that a little bit better for you too. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some Trying to get it in good view for you. I'm going to add some orange first. And I'm going to go specifically to these flowers. And there's another one down there. There's another one there. Another one over here. Right in front of me here. Okay, I'm just going to drop another couple here and there. Okay. And come in with some yellow. You can see it kind of coming out now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a um, a wipe across it, across it lightly. You don't want to smoosh your flowers or your design. But it's had a little time here, so do you see how that absorbs it? Just touch it very lightly, hardly at all. Just a very light tap. Okay. Now I'm going to bring my wipe in, and I'm going to lightly, because this is an alcohol wipe, I'm going to lightly go like this, and just wipe a little bit more, very lightly. Okay, now this is when I come in and I do a little spraying with my alcohol, and I just let it do its thing for a minute, or not a minute, but for a second or two. All right, now I take a Kleenex because it's a little bit softer than a paper towel, but let's see what this brings. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more here, and I'm gonna do it onto my Kleenex. Spray a little bit more alcohol on my Kleenex. Come in and just kind of wipe. See, you're going to slowly, slowly see some white appearing. There's some white down here that's well, it's kind of got a little bit of a tint of a color too to it. Now, but you're going to see some white coming out, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm barely touching it because I don't want the, the raised flowers and the raised design to go away. All right, now I'm going to try a paper towel. It's just a little bit more rough, but that's what I... I'm gonna try this time. Okay, and I just kind of fold it over and I kind of do that. And then I see that it's taken off some of it. And then I turn it and use the other area that I had it sprayed. Now, can you see? Can you see that it's starting starting to show white? And not only is that happening, but the, uh, the flowers are still raised. Very light touch on this kind of a thing. Really light touch. And it just takes a little while. You have to pay, have some patience to do it. Okay, now I'm going to come back and just kind of clean up around these edges here a little bit. I see, I just dropped something in there. I'm not sure where that came from. But I'll pick it out. Oh, it's... It 
that's the uh, the alcohol ink. Okay. Okay. So let's just get that alcohol ink moving a little bit out of the way. Oh, this is starting to look better and better. I love, I love, love this color. Just slightly back and forth. And you stop when you think you've got it where you want it. Um, there's no special place to stop, I don't think. Um, it's your eye and what you want to show. And um, I'm looking for a little bit more white to show. And so I'm just going to kind of carefully keep going. And as you do that, you're going to see a little bit more and a little bit more. And what is happening is you are lightly, lightly, lightly wiping off those, you know, those raised areas. And they're going to show up a little bit more. Okay. And now I'm going to do this again. This will, uh, what, how do you say it, weaken your clay if you spray it a lot. So you have to be careful with it, but you can still work with it. Just barely tap it. Okay. Barely, barely tap it. Oh, that's getting to be pretty. That orange is looking uh, even a little bit peachy, I, I would say. A little bit. A little bit. One more spray like that. Let me try to keep it from running under there, but okay. There we go. It's getting close to where I like it, I think, now. I'm just trying to make it reveal itself. <clears throat> As I barely touch it, actually. This is where a little spray bottle of alcohol ink really comes in handy. <laughs> you know? Okay. Let's see, do I want it to stay that way? I, uh, I'm going to try it one more time with this. Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. That's a little bit better. Now, I barely hold it and wipe it over it. I'm trying not to. get rid of the design, but to reveal the design. Okay. Um, let's see, I think I'm gonna try this again with a paper towel. Yeah, you go through the, you do go through the towels with this, but in the end, it's worth it. I'm going to go really softly, but I am going to go back and forth, just like this. Very soft touch. And you see how it's revealing these little leaf-like things when I do that? Um, that's what I wanted it to do, because they were still covered up with yellow. I want the yellow to be there, but I want, and the orange, and if it turns pe more peachy, that's fine too, but I really want to have some white show up. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm very close to quitting here. One more with the tissue. And you know, you may have liked it a long time ago. Um, it's all what you desire. <laughs> you know, you just have to figure out what you want, how you like. How do you like it? Okay. Well, I think I love that.
and that's where I am going to stop. Okay. Can you see if, um, you know, I use ribbons for my necklaces because it's easy. But if you made a pendant out of this and earrings, you could add some beautiful beads, uh, you know, make a beautiful chain for this. And I've got six boxes right now full of clay items that I'm sending off to friends and some relatives with some of these things that I've made. And I, I put a ribbon on it. <clears throat> I didn't put a chain on it. I figure if they do want to take the ribbon off, you can get the ribbon off if you use those um, bales that I... I'll show you here. <laughs> okay, and you can go on to this bale right here. That My hole, I drilled a little bit too big on that one, but um, it's got a little rhinestone to it. I just love those. It's a little pinch bale. And, okay, let me come back out a little bit further. And go on to um, Deb at Clay Boutique on her Amazon store, and you can order those. Now, I, I have ordered these, I think, twice, I think. Anyway, um, I went on the Internet just recently, and I... Let's bring it down again. I looked and looked for more bales, and I, I ordered some, because I use them for ear, the earrings, too. Let me show you that in a second. Let's see here. Wipe this up. And it doesn't matter if this side is goofy because you're going to cover it up after it's baked anyway. But as you can see, things get under there. All right. Now I just want to show you this. You know what? I can't hold it still enough, so let me just do this. <laughs> You see those little speckles of white, you guys? That's what I was trying to get to show. And now as it's drying, it's looking better and better. Oh, I love that one. I'm just a big fan of orange and yellow together, though. I love it. Okay, so that's that. Let's see, which one should I use here? Oops, sorry, I bumped you. I'm going to come back out a little ways. Got all my clay showing over here. That's the way it goes. And let's see. Um, let me think. What would I like? Maybe I'll take this one. I used this big white one on the other one. I think I'll use this one. Uh, and you can put it this way. I'm just trying to figure out where, where do I want it. Or... Maybe I'll use a different one. Let me see here. I got several cutters hanging up in my, in my closet down here, but I also, <clears throat> excuse me, and this one, I like that one too. Okay. This is just a more organic looking one. And I should wipe it off here. I don't want to get color. Let me get a wipe on my new one. I used to clean all my cutters and everything right after I used them. <laughs> I don't do that anymore. And I should. Because if you do that, then they're ready to go the next time you come around. But, okay. I just happen to really like this this shape and it, and it makes it a little bit bigger and it has an earring shape with it so i'm just wiping these off as i go here so now you could put a piece of saran wrap over this and get beveled edges but um the alcohol dries your clay out and so you might get some more cracks if you do that you may get a few cracks this way even but so I don't use it on this. I generally have always used uh, there's a teeny tiny little you probably can't see it, but there's just a teeny tiny little something right there. Got it. Okay, now I am going to figure out where do I want to cut this? Oh, oh that's so pretty. Um
And if you wanted to, you could have left the white around it and then just did a half, kind of half and half or at an angle. But this this print is so beautiful. I'm going to use the whole thing um, here or. Here. That would fit there. I've got both yellow and orange there. I like that. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it. Then I'm gonna I'm going to cut the earrings. And ooh, that's so pretty. Again, try to get um A little yellow and orange. And, and there's a flower down here. There's a flower up there. If I do that, I can do that. If I do this. Hmm. And this is nice because it has edges that you can, you can turn this any way you want to and they'll be the earrings will be matching they'll they they will be a mirror set so do I want to get that or do I want to get this up here I think I do I want to get that right there okay and I'm going to do another one since I've got room here no they're uh, okay barely on the edge here and let's see if I've got room to do another one right here. Barely, barely. I think I can get it though. If I move this over just a hair. Yep. Okay. So, all right, here we go. Let's just pull that off. Now I would do the same with these. Uh, I would clean the edges up. I'm gonna rub my fingers around the edges a little bit. Here, I just shave some off the back of that one, but no biggie. I'll wipe that up. And what I do is I pick them up and then I just rub my finger across it. But um, just a quick, quick sanding will help too. Um, my husband has built me a workbench, an eight foot long workbench. Well, he and I will share it. And it's uh, right behind me in our storage room. And I am going to absolutely love that. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, let me bring it down. And you can see it too. There. And then you can see these are, these got all fuzz, fuzzy. Maybe you can't see it, but I'm just going to rub my earrings too a little bit. And then they'll be ready to go into the oven. I haven't named these yet. I don't know what I'm going to call them. But I do like to name them. Let's see, let's come back up a little bit more. So that one's set. And we'll wipe this one down a little bit. Um, you don't want raised edges when you put your ink on. See, I can put these, uh, okay, turn it this way. And they'll be a matching set. Um, it's just kind of one of those cutters that you can work that way, which is really rather nice. It's actually very nice. And then we'll rub this one too. And it will be done. Now I will go cook these <laughs> at 275 for an hour, both sets. And then what I might do is, um, oh, that's pretty. My goodness, those are really pretty. I love them. Okay, let's come down here a little bit and I'll put you in here and in here. See if you like that. Oh, that's gonna be gorgeous. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get it so it's... <laughs> I have to look up at my camera. That's why I'm taking a little bit of time here. All right, now, have that up there a little bit more. And these in here a little bit more. There you go, can you see that okay? Isn't that just gorgeous? I just love it. I have got a few other, not mats like this, but I'm gonna go to Cool Tools, and I'm not associated with them at all. Uh, I don't get paid for this, but um, 
and see if they have more like this. But if you will notice, let's see if I can bring this up here. Make it focus on you. Maybe, there we go. See? See how the flower petals are flat, but the uh, outline around them drops down? That's what you want. You want to see the outline more than you want to see the uh, the embossed part. You don't want to emboss, you want to deboss. So that's what that is. All right, so I'm gonna go check out. Oh my gosh, I think that's a gorgeous set. You have to let me know if you like that set. Anyway, and here's my other one. I'm gonna bring it in so you can see this too. And then I have to kind of bring it back out a little bit. And move this up a little bit. I just use my phone, so I make do with that. So I have to make adjustments. Anyway, they're both different, but they're both pretty. Okay, bring me down a little bit more. Get that out of the way. Oh, I hope you like this. So anyway, um, try that. See if you enjoy doing it. It's just the, it's just fun to see how everything turns out. And you are the judge as to how it turns out. So that's fun too. All right, I'm going to let you go for today. My voice is going, going, gone. But um, I hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, God bless all of you. And have a, just a really wonderful day today. And go make something out of clay. All right, bye-bye.